This morning we're going to talk about wait for delay and transactions. And suppose that we have a situation in which we want to check if something exists. And if it doesn't exist, we don't want to keep our query window open and keep hitting F5, 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 and waiting for it to exist. Uh, a good point of this the other day was getting a, a server was coming back online. I'm sorry, a database was coming back online on a server. And I just wanted to know when that, that was back online without going to my you know query window and keep checking and keep checking and keep checking. And so I can you, we can use a simple um, wait for delay, and that will allow us to do something I mean, allow us to get that information. Now, the quick thing about wait for delay is that what we're going to discuss this morning is it doesn't interrupt transactions. So when the transaction is running, it will disrupt transactions. Of course, you may have a lock, but when there's no tran but if there's no transaction running, the wait for delay is not going to interrupt transactions. So we'll kind of demonstrate that. So uh, really quickly, let's look at our table here, and we're going to have two query windows to run this, and we're going to look at our delay table. And we have four companies. We have IBM, Tesla, Apple, and Samsung. Okay, now in query window number one, what we're going to do here is we are going to wait for delay. And this is the syntax. Um, so let me show you. You can do hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. Okay, now in this case, we're just going to do minutes. We're going to wait one minute. And then after we wait one minute, we're going to update the delay table and we're going to set the name equal to Microsoft where ID equals one. Okay, one second. And let's go ahead and do this here. Now you'll notice we're going to wait for the delay. for one full minute, and then we're going to update the table. Now in query window number two, what we're going to do is we're going to select star from uh, delay table. So there's that, and then we're going to update the delay table, and we're going to set the name equal to ha 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 I got in supposing it's a hacker, where ID equals 1. And then select star from delay table. And so we're going to show just how the delay works and why it doesn't lock. So technically, this query you will see is going to continue running. So I'm going to go ahead and start executing this, and I'm not sure how much you can see at the bottom, but it says executing query, so, and then the seconds are running. So it looks like it's still running, and again, normally if you're running a, a large transaction, that may look like, hey, um, with a large transaction especially, it may look like, hey, you know, you're locking up the table. But in this case, we're waiting for a delay. And then we're going to go ahead and run this transaction. So you'll notice beforehand, it was IBM. This transaction ran, and now it's ha ha ha, I got in. And if we go back, this one's still running. It's at 35 seconds right now. And uh, one second, it's about to be at 45 seconds. So this transaction is not interrupting this transaction. They're going after the same ta table. So this is important, because if you decide to do a wait for delay, and this is in the back of some people's minds, is that going to gonna lock up the table to where people can't make uh, the necessary updates? And the answer is, of course, no, it's not. So we're going to wait for a minute, and boom, it's done. So now we can do select star from delay table. And you'll see it's Microsoft. And then if we go over to this one, we can see that it's Microsoft as well. So um, just a quick review, because this video is not long whatsoever. The wait for delay, you can do there's hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. Wait for delay can be useful. You know, it's not something that you're going to use a lot, but it can be, there are times that it can be useful. And understand that when the transaction is not occurring, there's no locks happening. You can still run other transactions. That wait for delay is just the window is there. Uh, it's available. In fact, if you want to just see, let's go ahead and run this transaction. 
just as a case in point really fast, you can look at our while it's doing the delay. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Wrong window. That's 53. So 53 is. There's no blocking going on. And in fact, if you were to. Uh, look, I guess I didn't do this, but uh, if you were to run, and you can do this on your own, but you can run SPHU and see if one transaction is waiting for the other, and you'll see that there's no blocking. Um, there's nothing. It's just. Um, it's perfectly available. So you can do that and pretty much. You can wait for something that you need. Uh, like the other day, I was waiting for a server to come, or not a server, I'm sorry, a database to come back online. And uh, no, it doesn't block anything. Other transactions can run fine.